call law, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The minds of the men that gave their life for this truth, then Yahweh Shai shall rise first. I need this truth, the minds of the men, a great Muslim that taught me the truth. And all she was out there, teen, to the house of David, 144,000 elect, men, women, and children, that consist of the elect. Basically, through the Spirit, man. You know, United States, um, we said earlier through the Spirit of the Lord, we're the watchtower. And we're warning our people, you know, of the calamities that's coming. And World War III is right at the door, you know. Russia, the Russian TV warns of nuclear war amid U.S. tension because they bombed the uh, three radio stations in Yemen that were that are backed by Iran. And then Iran, in turn, sends warships to Yemen. You know, cause the Third World War is there, man. It's here. So here it is. Russia is telling the American people, I mean, the telling their people over World War Three. And months back, Putin was telling Putin was telling the the, the Amer trying to tell the American people is like I don't know what to tell you, I don't know what to tell you. I'm really trying to warn you, but you the media is it's a media blackout. You can see those Russians they care about their people. These other countries care about their people. These Rothschilds they don't give a fuck about American people, man. And all hell is about to break loose, man. All hell is about to break loose, man. You feel it in the air. The third world's wars in the air. This is what we've been telling you through the spirit, man. The prophecies say so. You know? This is what the Lord put the spirit on us to warn our people and tell them what the hell is about to go down, man. But you people are still fucking asleep, man. Between the U.S. with talks of nuclear war. And really, this is taking talks between Moscow and the United States to its lowest point since the Cold War. Now... Some could say this is a lot of those points is a cold war. Now, Ezekiel 38 talks about what? Putting the hooks in Magog and Gog. Bring them back into that cold war spirit, the USSR. Which the cold war never went anywhere anyway. And that's the Lord putting that spirit into Russia. Saber rattling, so to speak. We've seen moves like this in, well, I'm not going to say exactly like this because it's we've never seen 40 million people get moved like they just did recently. And then they called all their officials back to Russia. Students back from universities told them to not even finish the school year. And you see that? Don't even finish the school year. Because hmm. they know World War Three is at the door. Nuclear war. Now, Russian television warning of nuclear war amid these tensions. Mm -hmm. With Putin recently stating that they could strike up war in multiple different fronts. I've talked... Before about pipelines being a target within Syria and other places. You've seen here recently just what the little gas shortage did in the United States. See, there was a sabotage. Something like that, not just in the United States, but any country uh, could cripple it. And when I think of tactics, dirty tactics of war, on not the nuclear level, just enough to bring a country to its knees. That's all that would be needed. And what better time to come in and take over a country, or attack a country, than when they're in their own civil war. 